Yo, hello guys, and welcome back again to a brand new video. In today's tutorial, guys, I will show you how to add bundle plugin products, like how to add like a product bundle into your WooCommerce website in 2023. In this video, guys, I will show you how you can create simple products into bundle products into a variation of like digital and downloadable products. So you will have all the information how you can create different kinds of products in WooCommerce. So guys, if you'd like to make your website go more successful than it is, make sure to watch this video from now till the end so you can understand the whole process of creating the products in WooCommerce. So without further talking, let's get started. The first thing that you will need to do guys is simply head up to your browser and go to the URL section. After that, head up and search for WooCommerce and create your first store. You can go ahead and create it from WooCommerce.com. After that, they will create your store in WordPress. So for me, I have it already in my local host. So let me just open it and then I will go to the dashboard. After you create your first store on WooCommerce, it will be open something like that. Like a dashboard in WordPress with the plugins of WooCommerce ready for you to use. Now, the first thing that you have to do is check for the updates. For me, I have it on my local host, that's why I will not update it. But for you guys, make sure to make the update for each plugin you have here. Now, when you finish with that, I will need you to go to here, so add new over here and click on, on it. After that, you can do the download of the plugin in two ways. If you have the bundle plugin for WooCommerce in your PC already as a zip file, you can just go here, click on upload plugin, and then you can click here to choose a file, and then it will be installed. Otherwise, you can click here to on search plugins, and then simply click on bundle products or something like that. And let's see, it will be open for us. So bundle product and here it is so product bundles for woocommerce now all you need to do is simply go ahead and click on install now so as you can see here and then give it some time until it is fully installed and here we go now the second thing which is click on activate to make it active now here it is and it is active now so when you finish with that you will find it in your plugin section so go to install plugins go to active from over here click on it and then they will take you to this page after that search for the bundle product that you have uh, the plugin that you have downloaded so here it is as you can see now you can click here to settings to view the settings so here you will have a brief how to use it here the settings localization compatible docs so you can read some docs about it, so the wallpaper or the white paper about their project. Here the premium version if you'd like to get it. And here the essential kit. You can get from here the, all the essential kit that you have to use in order to make it more better for you to use. Now let's go back here. Here you can start creating your product data. So here it's going to be something like that. Smart bundle. It's going to be here, so here you can add type any keyword to search. Here we can add like the products, and here regular price, and here sale price. So you can make here like a discount, and here before text and after text. Let's show you an example how does it look in real life. So here, after I click on products, let's try to create a new one. So click in here to add a new one. After that, Normally, if you went all the way down here, you'll find general, inventory, shipping, length products, attributes, advanced, and get more option. So, now, to be able to actually see the bundle product, what you have to do is go to here, to your product data from over here, and then click on simple product. After that, you will find here grouped product, external affiliate product, variable product and smart bundle. So click here to smart bundle and here it is. Now here you can add some keywords to search. So here you find like um, like search limits, search by SQL, by ID, etc. So you can ha here add like the 
paragraph, etc. This feature will be available version right now for only 29. So I'm not gonna buy it for this one. So here we can add any keyword you like and they will search for it and find it for you. So let's search for iPhone X, here it is, and I can add it. Here I can add another thing, for example, I don't know which kind of products I have, so let's add Photoshop as well. And these are the products that I have now. So here is the price, which is 500. Now let's add like a discount into it. So let's do this, 20%. And here you can like, for example, add a discount of 20% or just add the amount exactly that you want it to be. Here you can custom the quantity. So how much quantity you'd like a customer can get for each product. And here, total limits. So here's the same thing, how much limits of these things they can get. Here the shipping fee. If you'd like to add a shipping fee, you can add it for here. Here, manage stock, so you can here, like, enable stock management at a bundle level. Here, you can custom a display price. So, here, you just have to put, um, from, for example, this is just an example, you can copy it and paste it over there. And here, above text and under text, you can say, for example, uh, before, after. And let's see how the product is going to be like. Let me just add here something like variation bundle. Here, the same thing, and here let's add the image. So I'm going to add, for example, Pringles for it, so we can know the difference between them. Here I'm going to click on Publish, and here it is, the page of it. Now let me just click on it, and here it is. So now, as you can see, this is the page. Here it is, how it looks like. Um, let me just fix this real quick. I think I have a problem here, because the text is so big, I think I have change something in my CSS so let me just check it from here at this on the CSS and here it is so let me just make it smaller okay normally and now this is how the page shall be looking like here the name of the bundle here like a text that you can add here like before and after which are the text that you have to put for example, here, iPhone X, good quality, something like that. And here, like something, thank you for buying something like that. Here is the price, which is normally, if you bought it alone, you will get it for 400. Now, if you bought iPhone X with Photoshop cars, you will find it only for 320. And the Photoshop asset of 100, you will get it for 80 bucks. Here, we can find the description, related products, and here the reviews. You can add a review with that and submit it and of course you need to be something else not like a moderator like me so you can submit like a review you can just be a normal client create an account and then make a review for your own website if you like to so this is pretty easy that's how you can actually create bundle products in WooCommerce in 2023 guys it was pretty easy, pretty simple, straightforward to the steps. So I hope you liked this video, guys. Make sure to leave a like and subscribe to the channel. If you have any more questions, please make sure to leave them down below in the comment section. And see you guys in the next video.